there are a lot of men at those, but there's not that many men here today, so kind of what I have prepared is maybe not going to be as relevant as, as uh, I first thought, so I'm not going to do any of that, so, so I'm going to make that as I go. But on my way here, I thought what I would do is, hello, hello, what I would do is bring some of the, uh, the products that I use and talk to you about why I like them and why I use them. And uh, so I've, I've got this, this little bag that Doterra just sent me. I'm off to Kenya next week to the co-impact sourcing trip to see the new ginger farm. So I'm excited to go and do that. And there's a bit of humanitarian work to do there as well. So uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. But they've given me, we're allowed 23 pounds of luggage total. Not kilograms, pounds. So it's like 11 kilos. So Vanessa just left to go to the UK for five weeks, so I've been struggling along at home trying to do everything that she normally does as well as everything I do as well as everything the kids need. And uh, when I took her bags out the front of the taxi when she left, which was two of them, it was like 2,300 pounds each one. <laughs> so she won't go to Africa because uh, you have to have a vaccination to get back to Australia. You don't have to have a vaccination to go there, but you've got to have one to come back. So she won't go there, but she wouldn't be able to survive with 11 kilos of luggage anyway. So, <laughs> chance to up. so anyway, so what have I got? Um, when I first started teaching men's classes, I realised quickly that looking at the price list that doTERRA has and all this massive range of products, that men just aren't going to get it. It's sort of, you know, OTT or TBD, you know, for them. Over the top or too bloody difficult. So they, it's just too many products, and for them to sort of suggest to going to them and start, you know, using their intuition and start working out what they're going to need for the day and making up a blend to aromatically dress themselves, it's just a bridge too far for most blokes. So the best way that you guys could perhaps start getting your guys to use essential oils is through the way that you normally get us to do everything, which is trickery and deceit. So, so, so start with that, okay? But it works because we're simple creatures and it works. So, so I realised quickly when I'm teaching to men that, and also teaching to women about how to teach to men is that we've got to change the game up a little bit and not do things the way we've always done as far as teaching an intro class to a bunch of girls, which I do those classes too. When I teach those, I teach them the same way you guys do, exactly the same. But when I teach to the guys, it's completely different. Um, and I realised that men are solution driven creatures, right? It's like, there's the problem, there's the solution. And you women would know this because when you sit down with us and ask us to sort of talk to you a little bit about, you know, your feelings and what's going on, um, we, we go straight to, well that's easy, just cut her off, don't, you know, don't have her as a friend anymore and the problem will be gone. You know? So we're very solution driven, right? So when it comes to oils, I thought, well I'm going to make up a new price list and the whole price list, which is getting bigger and bigger in doTERRA, now it's a book, right? It used to be a one page front and back. So this is mine for men's classes. You can download this for free off the Food Alchemy website. It's under oils and oil resources. And each section on the price list is to deal with a specific solution in mind. So it might be sleep and snoring. It might be pain, occasional pain, occasional non-chronic pain. Seems we've got to be compliant, right? Um, outdoors. Uh, men's mental health and well-being, there's, and there's you know, different oils, different products there that they can use for that. So that makes it a lot more simple for guys, but also the first thing I, I worked out when I was trying to get my mates involved, to get them to try to use oil for the very first time, and for you guys, how many of you have got husbands and partners and sons that use the oils now? Oh, yeah. How many of them went for it straight away and it was really easy and they just all picked it up? <laughs> Three or four hands. <laughs> So it's a little bit harder to get the guys on. So as far as trickery and deceit is concerned, you've got to start with things that aren't like essential oils. I'll see if I can find something that's in my bag of trickery. So, in a big bag. Do you know what? I, I put the bag on, I started carrying the bag here, and it was so much weight and it was probably more than I'm allowed to take for Africa, and there's only essential oils in there. I thought, oh my God, I've gone to a, turned into a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, I've got so many oils in there, it's like, holy oh, shit, I use all of these things. Everything that's in there, I actually use it almost every day. And I'm surprised about that because they're sort of in various areas around the house. So I, I, I fool myself into thinking that I only need two or three things. But um, this is a great way to trick a man into using essential oils. <laughs> Don't tell him that there's essential oils in it. Just tell him if he's got pain, I've got to rub this onto you. I picked up this amazing thing the other day at the pharmacy and I'm going to put this on you. And if it works, after it works and after he's actually been indoctrinated and he loves it, then tell him that it's got wintergreen and helichrysum and peppermint and all these things in there. Okay, so this is how you trick him into it. So, 
Gently persuade. Gently persuade. Okay, shall I change that? Yeah. That's how you gently persuade. You mean? <laughs> we, we do, slowly but surely. It just takes us time. Actually, I was trying to gently persuade a man this week. I had to go in and do a, um, a wellness consult in the city, in the CBD, and I hadn't been in for ages. And I found this place in the Carillion Arcade, and I got in there. And as I'm walking in there, though, there's this guy carrying this massive placard, and it says, vote no, and save families, and all this kind of stuff. And I thought, this guy needs some oils, right? <laughs> I had all my oils with me, and I had an empty, empty bottle, so after I finished my wellness consult, I made up this blend for him. I called it the Yabar blend. Yabar. Y-A-B-A-A-B. You're a banana and a bigot. <laughs> so I took this plan to him and it's got all the fine ones in there that are going to help him get over the fact that he's unteachable and that you know, he has uh, sexual repression and he's, got, he's not quite sure who he is and all that kind of stuff. But normally I use the Modern Essentials app to help me with all this kind of stuff because I'm not Vanessa and I don't have this encyclopedic knowledge of essential oils. So I use the app. And I went in there and the app's never let me down. When I do wellness consults or when I, if someone's comes up to me with some issue that I've never heard of before, I always type it in and I get the answer and it, it helps me. Right? But in this case, there was nothing in there because I looked for dickhead and I looked for... You know, I looked for a banana, you know. I, and I looked for me to get a life and there was nothing in there. But luckily, I found an early edition of Amanda's emotion book, which you just won the latest edition of. And there's all kinds of things in there for this bloke, okay? So I managed to make the blend up and went back to him and uh, you know, gave this to him. And uh, he said, what's it for? And I thought, oh, I don't want to really want to tell him it's doTERRA essential oils because he might be able to Google doTERRA and find me or something like that. So I just gave this oil to him and then uh, normally I never leave that opportunity without getting the person's phone number because I can follow him up and I can, you know, but I figured in this case it was obvious to him that I wasn't in agreement with his standpoint on this, right? So I thought I better not, better not ask for his phone number, but he did ask for my address, so maybe he wants to come around and give me an unwellness concept. <laughs> so, so I refused to give him my address. So, but anyway, that's the way to start tricking them in. This is probably my favourite doTERRA product, by far. Not probably, definitely. My wife probably wants me to try and take this one. That's the vegan version. <laughs> Funnily enough, while she's been away, I've been actually vegetarian and alcohol free for the last six weeks. She's in the UK and she can't believe that I'm doing it while she's away. <laughs> she goes, it, it, takes, it takes me to leave and, and you stop eating meat and drink your wine. Um, but you know, we've got to have our things right. But this is amazing for me and I take them every day. Um, probably a lifesaver for me from a mental pers perspective after I lost my brother. Um, it was just an amazing thing. I wish I had have, um, known what it would do for me earlier, I would have given it to him. Um, but um, anyway, I want to get out of the path again. I've spoken about that one enough. But an amazing product for us. And one of the things that I love about it is when you go into places like pharmacies, 94% of the products front of house in a pharmacy, so that means not the prescription stuff, but the stuff that you can buy. So all the supplements and natural health stuff and essential oils and all that kind of stuff. Um, they are not approved by the TGA to do what they say they will do. 94% of the stuff in front of there. Yet doTERRA's LLV is approved by the TGA to do what it says it will do. So I love that about it. So if you want to get men to take things, talk to them about things like that statistic, they love that stuff. You know? <laughs> Peppermint, when I'm talking to a guy about peppermint, that's in my, uh, my magic bag here somewhere. I always talk to, see there's so many oils rattling around here, I'm never going to find it, right? Peppermint. And I talk to them about things like um, if they train or anything like that, that it produces up to 51% increase in aerobic output. So it gives them greater stamina when they're training. For you girls, I'm sure your husband would like to have greater stamina too. Sometimes. So, think about it, think about it. It'll land in a minute. <laughs> she, got, she got me. It's okay, it's okay. We're not gonna, we're, we're not gonna, we're not gonna name him here and shame him, it's okay. <laughs> but I talk to him about those kind of things and the guys love it because they see, okay, you know, that's something I can get, I can understand that. And when you talk to them about the fact that, you know, professional rugby teams, elite athletes, Olympians, that kind of stuff, are using our essential oils to improve their performance and to be able to get more out of themselves, then they can kind of start getting their head around. So after you've tricked them into using essential oils with deep blue, 
then you can start using actual essential oils once they're believing that, okay, maybe they do something. And we can start talking about other things. The deep blue one, and this funniest story, I can't use deep blue, and I use it a fair bit, but I can't ever not use it without thinking of this story. Have you all heard my story about deep blue? There's a guy that we know, <laughs> yeah, you, he's heard it. There's a guy that we know, in our, he's not in our team, his wife's in our, in our doTERRA team, but he got used to using deep blue because he suffers a lot of pain, and he got to the point where he just found it so much easier. If he got up each morning and put the, the deep blue straight on, like even before he stood up, so just on his knees, on his lower back, and he found that he was just able to move around much more quickly in the morning and, and get going into life yeah, much quicker. So it was good for him. So one night he and his wife were in bed and they're deciding to have a little bit of adult time together. Uh, she's given him some peppermint, more stamina. <laughs> but um, kept him awake at least, right? But, <laughs> but he's, uh, he reaches over there for what he thinks is a tube of something to make things move more easily. And it's dark, so he couldn't see. So he, but he got the wrong tube. And he proceeded to put it on himself and put it on her. Before he realised that it wasn't what he thought it was. And you can imagine, you know, the, the, the pain and suffering. The pain was supposed to actually relieve pain, but in this case, it didn't happen. <laughs> so they jump up and they run in, jump in the shower, and they start spreading water all over themselves. And we know that that's not a good idea because that makes it worse and spreads it all around the place. So that's his story. But I did come up with a man-sized solution to his problem, so it will never ever happen to him again. Right? Man-sized solution to the problem. Okay. Now he can't confuse the tube with the pump pack. <laughs> Unless he's got an industrial pump pack with this other stuff. In that case, good luck to the guy, really. I mean, <laughs> what else do I use every day? Here's another one you can trick guys into. Don't say it's essential oils again. This one here, tell them that it will get engine grease off their hands or anything else that they're using. And I actually must confess, it's Although I take LLV every single day, this is actually probably one of my most used products because I find myself actually using it 8, 10, 12, 15 times a day. Every time I go to the bathroom, I use the foaming hand wash, so it's awesome. So these are kind of ways that you can get it into the house and start getting them to understand it. And my dad is a shearer and a farmer, and he loves being outside, making a mess and doing garden type stuff, and he, he's always got dirt on his hands and it's ingrained into him, basically. Um, but he reckons that this is better than any of the soaps he's ever used in all his life. And he used to use those really abrasive sand soaps. Have you ever heard of those? Solvol, exactly, right? So he used to use all that kind of stuff. And it was, I mean, it, was, it would tear normal skin apart, except his hands are like alligator skin now because of all the work he's done. So, but this really helps him, and he loves it. And he goes, it's the best thing we've ever had. And, and of course, you know, it's gentle on the skin, calm and soothing to the skin. Um, this is one of my new, my new loves. I take, and I've never been into chewing gum, right? But, um, smart and sassy gum. I don't know that I want to become particularly sassy, but I could definitely use a little bit more smart, so I, I use the gum every day. So if you've got a guy that uses gum, then just another way to introduce a product to him that's essential oils based. And, do you not know this one? Oh, well these are amazing. Here, try one. <laughs> Anybody else want to try one? Right, so pass that around. Good juggle catch. So what this is supposed to do obviously is help you with your metabolism and help you maintain healthy well weight control. Okay? That's compliance for you right there. Mm. <laughs> so I like to use that one every day. And believe it or not, ladies, men would rather be slim than overweight. But because it's more socially acceptable for them to be not slim, they pretend like they don't care. But most of the blokes that I know, young and old, and most of my mates are actually in their 50s and 60s, they all do care. But don't tell them I said so. Okay? So they can take this and they can get a little bit of lemon in their water, which my wife tells me sets up a process of lipolysis, which helps to uh, burn and shed fat in the body. So I put lemon in my water every day. So. Trick him, just saying it's flavoured water so you'll be better hydrated. Okay, but he always good weight too. So, this is one of my new favourites. Dr. Hill told me to, to use this um, when we were over the presidential trip. Pettigrain. Man's lavender is the other the other name for this. Have you smelled this one before? You know? Pass it around, please. Feel free. 
doesn't smell like lavender. So if you don't want to walk around smelling like a bunch of flowers, this is a guy, then it's a great, uh, a great oil for you. But he told me to rub it on this little point here between my thumb and my forefinger. And he says that it's designed, so everyone knows that we've got blood in our body and it gets forced around our system and pumped around by our heart. So it's under pressure at certain times. But when our, um, uh, the, um, the amount of pressure that we're experiencing goes outside of the normal range, Good on being compliance here, <laughs> um, which I occasionally get in a non-chronic sense, of course. Um, <laughs> but he tells me to use use petty grain and stick it here, and it will help you regulate the uh, the force area unit pressure in your body. So that's the, the technical term for it. Vascular tension is what. Vascular he tension used. is that what you call it? That's what he did. He called that's what it. He called it? Yeah. Vascular so, tension. so force per unit area is what I use. So, okay. You put it in the right there, you just massage it into there, a couple of drops every day. <laughs> Symptoms of crankiness, you can probably say that. There's plenty of those going around, right? <laughs> Snappy Tom Blend. Now, I'm going to embarrass myself. Are you ready? There's a couple of ones here that I use. These two babies. This is in my drawer in the vanity, not in Vanessa's drawer. So, but I had to go and buy my own because she keeps raiding it. So these are my two, two products and uh, the tube that goes with it, which is in the shower, the white one. I know, yeah. I use those too. And uh, despite what, um, you know, it's okay for guys to start looking a little bit uh, ragged and apparently that makes them look sexy as they get older, but um, I don't think the guys actually enjoy looking like that. They don't want to look that old. So this is a good, good, good way to help avoid that. These are a couple of new ones. Has everyone seen these? The on guard pump? Have you used it? Yes, no? Anyone not used this? Everyone's all over it. Awesome. Well, feel free to take it. This is a new one, so if you want to try it. But great hand sanitizer and cleanser. So if you're going places like camping and all that kind of stuff, which I'm about to head off to do, um, it's amazing. And of course, Terrace Hills. Yeah, I was recently on a camp, a making of men's camp. It's a rites of passage camp for fathers and teenage boys, with my son. Probably one of the most amazing experiences of my life, I'll tell you. So if you've got um, got young boys, then look into that for you know uh, them and, and, a, and a male role model to go on this camp. It's called the Making of Men, um, but it was probably the best experience that I could have ever imagined having with my child. And they do them for um, mothers and daughters too, and they're run by the women. So a right passage for young girls. So just an amazing organisation that uh, that do wonderful things. But I was there, and when we got there, we weren't allowed to talk about uh, our career. We weren't allowed to talk about what we do for a job. We weren't allowed to take any watches, no phones, no nothing. So when you got there, we're going camping, but there was these big tarps called customs tarps. You had to go and sit there, and they went through all your bag and took out all the contraband. And all your contraband was your watch, your iPad, you know, anything, any games, any cards, any books, any anything, so that we sort of just lose all sense of time and get deep into the space that we're into with the kids. And, uh, it really did work. We got into this what they call a liminal space, and so time tends to stretch and that kind of stuff. But you're not allowed to talk about your work, what you do. Now, can you imagine how hard that was for me? <laughs> <laughs> See, all I do is train people about how to be able to say what you do in a way that makes the other person want to know more and ask you loads of questions about it. So, <laughs> so, so, so and they said, "What's this stuff? You know, essential oils." But the, only, the one thing you are allowed to take is medication on this trip, of course. So I said, "Oh, that's all my medicine." <laughs> So, so I had to say it because I wouldn't let him take it off me. So this was my little bag of medicine, if you like. And this is the one that I take with me everywhere. And this is probably the only one I'll get to take with me to Africa in that bag with my, my clothes and everything else. And uh, I had Terra Shield and the guys were getting bitten by mozzies and all that kind of stuff. And they didn't have anything because we were out off grid. No phone coverage, no running water, no power, no nothing. But I was using Terra Shield and a couple of other oils and I was everyone's best friend. So I already got it wrong by the end of it, even though I didn't have to say what I did for a living. So, <laughs> so I couldn't help myself. I was even sharing out there. Another one that I take every morning, Myto Max, Energy and Stamina Complex, right? So you know, if the peppermint's not working for him, you can give him this, right? <laughs> Don't tell him I said that. No, I what I love particularly about this is that, does anyone here have any challenge with sleeping? Like getting to sleep easily on kind of stuff? You don't, because you all use Serenity and Vetiver and soft gels and everything, right? But if you know anybody that does have that issue, um, this is actually amazing to help you sleep. But you don't take it at night. You take it in the morning. 
and it's an energy and stamina complex, but one of the uh, key ingredients in it is ashwagandha root, and that is designed to actually help people that suffer from really having a hard time go to sleep, which is otherwise known as in something. <laughs> so, so, in awakeness. Um, now, this one is one that's my wife's favourite. You guys are going to have to guess which this one is, but it's one that I find that, um, particularly while she's been away, because I've been doing everything that she does with our team, I've been doing everything I do with our team, plus everything she does with the kids, plus everything I do with the kids. So I need to make myself a blend of hard enough princess, I guess, <laughs> and get that going. But it's, um, we've never been apart for this long, five weeks, ever. So in 14 years, so um, it's quite an experience. For most of you, as you know, in our doTERRA journey, we go everywhere together. We do everything together. And we love being together. So to be apart for this long is uh, hard work, but thank God for FaceTime is all I can say. So. Um, but this one I've found particularly useful in the last few weeks where I've been under this pressure and, and dealing with all this, this stuff because with the amount of phone calls and messages and stuff that we get, as you can probably imagine, I haven't had much of this. That's the big hint. <laughs> I'm still passionate, can't you tell? Hey? In fact, my passion's been rising every day for the last three weeks. Huh? <laughs> No, it's not passion, but you've got the right first letter. Peace. Peace, exactly. So um, this is good. So, And this is one you can trick a man into using. So you've got no chance of getting this in this house, but roll this on. It's your best chance <laughs> of getting some. Right? So when your children are bugging you and you've got so much going on and your boss is an idiot, and then, that you know, that's a nice way for them to just roll on and get a bit of peace. How long are we going for time? Am I done? No timekeeper? It's 20 past. 20 past. I've got plenty of time. Heaps of time. What have I got left in my bag of tricks? My phone, no, really. This is a um, shading blend that I make up. FCO, five drops of lavender, eight drops of tea tree. Because when I shave, and I clearly need one, um, I get a rash. I don't, I don't really like shaving, actually. So I try and stretch it out as long as I can between shaving events. But seeing as it's casual and it's a Sunday and it's hot, I thought I could get away with it today, so I didn't bother. Hope you don't mind. Um, but this is what I use, makes the razor slide beautifully over the skin, helps take it off, nice close shave, so it's amazing, but um, no alcohol based stuff, no chemical based stuff required, which should have, I have tried, to, I think just about every product that's ever been invented for that, and by the way, they're all shit. <laughs> um, they don't work for me. Um, Michelle's going to talk about one of my new friends when she gets up, I think, next, if I can find him, which I can't, oh, here he is. Coco Cabana. <laughs> Coco Cabana. Do you know what? I call it uh, Capaiba. <laughs> Just to annoy Vanessa. She goes, don't say that. Everyone's going to get confused what it's called. But when Dr. Hill first presented this at a convention, it reminded me of a Brazilian martial art called Capoeira, so, which I love. So it's got me started, started to call it kind of yeah, that way. But he's kind of a new best friend. And I think for me, it's sort of like, you know, the, when they say, you know, when in doubt, pull Frankie out. If you don't know what to use, use frankincense. I think this is like, you know, when, if you're out of frankincense, if you're still in doubt, you could use this maybe. So um, I love it. So I'm getting to use that and start a uh, firm friendship with him as, uh, as time goes on. And of course, his big brother, frankincense, every single day. You guys probably do the same thing. I have a couple of drops, take another one every single day. It's just sort of part of my routine now. And I must say, if I do not do it, like if I'm away or I forget it or... God forbid we run out of it, which generally doesn't happen. Because when we're leaving somewhere to go, Vanessa goes, have you got frankincense in here? And I've got it in my little bag here. And she's got three secret in her luggage somewhere. And uh, she goes, I'll get another one just in case. So whenever we go away, we go away for a week, we go with five bottles of frankincense. <laughs> so, you know, but, and she, uses, she does go through it pretty quick. Um, she's a, I, won't call it, I won't say what she calls herself as far as frankincense is concerned. She said it to you out there often enough, so you guys will have to just guess that one. What have I got? Now I'm really going to embarrass myself. I don't know if I should. should. Hey, you knew what it was straight away, didn't you? And again, this is Dr. Hill's fault. I started using this because he um, maybe got to the point where he was sort of starting to be aware of those, um, you know, those nice sort of what would we call those. That was a nice cross street. No, was it? <laughs> laugh lines, <laughs> smile lines. Um, but he actually started using um, Immortel, Cellubel, and. But what he said was, after having used it for a while, with his glasses prescription having gotten, had to be getting stronger and stronger over time, 
for the first time in many, many years after using this for several months, yeah, he went back to see his optician and his prescription has decreased in strength for the first time ever. Wow. Yeah. So I wear glasses to, uh, to drive at night and uh, if I go to a movies, I can see everything, but it's not super clear, so I'd, I'd rather just put them on so it's just a bit easier. Um, so I do wear glasses and I thought, well, you know what? If it works for him, I'm going to give it a go. So, you know, it's not, it's not out of vanity. I got five minutes? Oh, no, nearly out of time, sorry guys. What else do we have here? <laughs> this is the one I wish I had a hand for that guy in the mall. It's, it's Hope Land. <laughs> I just thought, you've got no hope now, so, so I'm going to give you some, but anyway, um, we'll, 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 he'll, he'll learn that the hard way, right, when, when the boat gets taken. Um, and this is just a day-to-day -day one that I recommend for just about everybody to have, but particularly blokes, and it's one that I talk about a lot when it comes to men's mental health and physical well-being. Um, I talk about having them, my one wish for them is to leave my house um, wanting to use LLB, 100%. Um, and as far as essential oils is concerned, I know that men aren't actually going on, on mass, go to this big box of oil that you guys have got at home and use their intuition and pick out the oils at the end of the day and be in touch with their emotions and aware of what they need and make up a plan and then put it on. It's just not going to happen. But your husband does. I did say, <laughs> in general, all men. I do it and you do it, but how many. Oh, I agree. Hey, I was, I'm married to the Queen of Oils, and I still believe that they're really for people that wore tie-dye pants and didn't own any shoes, right? <laughs> and I just like the fact that she always smells great, right? And the house always smells great, until I started to understand some of the science behind essential oils, and I started to open my mind up to it, so I was, you know, as hard to convert, really, because she was using them in our house. We've been together 14 years. We've been in doTERRA four years. So for 10 years, a decade, she was using essential oils around me, and I was completely oblivious to their real effect. Uh, you know, it's taken me all that time, but now I am a 100% convert, and you've got me here making you laugh, hopefully, so it's uh, not too, too heavy a subject for you. But balance is an amazing blend. I mean, if I can talk to a bloke and say, hey, just put that on the bottom of your feet before you put your socks on each day, your life just goes so much better. Question? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 hope's still available. Yeah. I know we've got like three bottles of that at home, so <laughs> in case we run out of hope. started getting me into it after my brother died. Um, you know, she helped me by putting frankincense on me. She was doing the work. I got to wake up just from the middle of the night sleep and she was rubbing she's like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and she's just sneaking it in there through trickery and deceit, getting me to use this <laughs> a Gentle persuasion, sorry, I've got to reframe that. But, but you know, literally doing that and helping get it on them and get them to you know use it and they'll start feeling better. I mean, men need the effect, okay? You know, they don't have it. So if, if you can just give them the result, then they're gonna they'll, they'll then fall in love with it. How many of you have husbands or partners who now tell everybody that on guard's awesome or something like that? Who's got that now? Right? And they're actually kind of out there telling people about it for you now. I've got my two sons quite on the LLC. Yep. After like twelve months of trying to just you know, for sixteen months of life and where do I wake up and myself an orange new day? Yeah, doing my thing. Yeah, look, I mean, I've been experiencing, even with my, my son, who's 15, again, who uses essential oils, I really had to actually come at the science point with him. He's a logical, left brain, smart kid, really smart kid. But to just sort of say, you know, use essential oils, it's like, you know. Um, but, you know, he's sort of started opening up to it and using certain oils. I mean, he uses the peppermint bead, but loves it, takes him to school and says to his mate, oh, these are like, you know, breath freshers, like chewies, but you need to have like five at a time. 
<laughs> so like, son, no, <laughs> that's not a good idea. But, but you know, getting them to use them that way and talking to them about why it works, how it affects things, it does actually mean stuff to blokes. We tend to sort of process information that way. But when in doubt, don't make it hard to blend everything. Get a roll ball, make it up and say, here, yeah. I love you, will you try this? <laughs> I told you, I still had to slow it to get on, on board. Have we finished? I have finished. I've got my phone. I've got digesting. I don't really like this kind of digesting, I'll tell you. But um, sometimes you get the shits and it's good. But, um, emotionally, <laughs> digesting is good when people are giving you that. Um, and that goes with my, my LLB every day is DIY. So I take it every day. You know, really reducing that oxidative stress and trying to do that. I mean, one of the reasons I take LLB is that, you know, talking about equality and the opportunity for, you know, marriage and the vote that's coming up and all that kind of stuff, I want equal opportunity for men. And men actually die younger than women. It's a fact. So I want all the men to start taking LLB so that we've got an even playing field for how long we like to be. <laughs> so, so, um, but, uh, but no joke, I mean the idea of taking that and the DDR prime is so that when we get to the end of our lives, we're in that period where you know, our bodies do start to break down and we spend you know, quite often many years at the end of our life living poorly, what, we, what that, those products are designed to do is to help us actually decrease the time that we live with chronic disease and, and, and challenge. Okay? That's what it's designed to do. It's not designed to make you live longer, it's designed to make you live better until you can't anymore. Does that make sense? So, for God's sake, get on that if you're not taking it and, and get your men on it. I mean, it makes such a massive difference. And for men who don't necessarily take care of themselves physically as well as girls do anyways, it's a really, really powerful part. I mean, I could go into talking about the science of it and how it works and why I use all that kind of stuff, but that's a whole other class. So, anyway, thanks for your time. I hope that was fun.